pwede ka bang mag-apply sa Canada kahit walang experience. So, this video is dedicated to our Cap Maria Annabel Landra wherein sabi niya, pero willing na willing po akong mag-training Cap. Gusto ko po food counter attendant kasi madali naman yun, sabi niya. Cap, basta may training lang, please help me. Thank you so much and God bless and more power. So, this question is for you. Pwede na ba or makaka-apply ka na ba or maaabot mo na ba ang Canadian dreams mo kung wala kang experience? So if you're ready, let's begin! What's up mga Kap? It's me Kap Joey of Community Canada, the licensed immigration agency and recruitment agency here in Nova Scotia together with my partner Miss Amelia Ajok, an experienced and licensed immigration consultant. So let's go back to the question. So answer this question Kap Maria Annabel is number one, you need to meet the requirements of two part. First part is employer. Since you are looking for a job offer for NSPNP or AIP, Atlantic Immigration Program, you need to get a job offer. And to get a job offer, you need to please or you need to meet the requirements of the employer. And since you are applying for permanent residency under NSPNP and or AIP, Atlantic Immigration Program, then you need to meet the requirements of the immigration. So if the immigration says you need to comply with this, you need to have this, you need to provide it to mga Simply because if you're not able to provide this, then you don't have an application. Same with the employer po mga So even you have an employer, it never gives you guarantee po mga kap na sure na sure ka na makakapunta dito sa Canada. Because the only way po mga to make that thing uh, to give you assurance po mga kap, is once na process na yung application. Pero kung job offer lang, hindi pa yung application. So let's go back to the question. Kap, pwede na po ba na walang experience? Let's take this as a logic situation po mga kap. You are applying to the Tim Hortons, for example. That's Tim Hortons, by the way, is one of our partner employers. So you apply for Tim Hortons. And sabi ni Tim Hortons, you need to have at least one year experience in the coffee shop. Wala kang experience. Ang tanong, kukunin ka ba niya? Hindi. Let's say scenario number two. Sabi ni employer, okay lang na walang experience. Swerte, no? Pero usually hindi yan nangyayari. Pero this is just a logical or as exaggerated situation. This employer wants to hire you even you don't have an experience. Masabi natin, check, meron ka ng job offer. But, sabi ni employer, yung pathway mo or yung immigration program mo will be NSPNP, Occupation in Demand, Food Counter or NOC 6711. In that program po mga kap, sinasabi that you need to have at least one year experience in the last three years. Napakalinaw po yun mga kap. So, let's go to the scenario number two, wherein you get a job offer even you don't have a work experience, hindi ka po process ng application kasi wala ka pong experience. Kasi sinasabi sa NSPNP, you need to have at least one year experience. Eh, wala ka nga. Makakasubmit ka ba? Hindi po. Kap, meron kong job offer? Still, hindi po. Job offer is just one of the requirements. However, you need to meet the Nova Scotia Provincial Nomination Occupation Demand Program Requirements. Ito yung sinasabi ko po mga kap, na case-to-case -case basis. Kasi number one po mga kap, it varies kung anong program na pipap gagamitin mo or papasukin mo. Pwede kang AIP, NSPNP, work permit, student, etc., etc. But if we're talking about 
AIP and Nova Scotia Provincial Nomination Occupation Demand, you need to have a job offer. To get a job offer, you need to get a job offer from the employer that's willing to hire you. Okay po mga kap. However, it never gives you guarantee na sure na sure ka na makakapunta dito sa Canada. However, you need to meet the immigration requirements. If the immigration requirement it says na, Uy, kailangan mo may one-year experience ka in the last three years. If you have this experience in the last three years, pasok ka. Kung hindi, wala kang application. And that's, the, that's my answer to your questions. I hope, Maria Ana, and to everyone that are watching, nasagot ko ang inyong mga tanong. To summarize po mga kap, if you are applying for Canada, and specifically, you need to have a job offer, you need to meet the requirements. First, you need to have a job offer first. Next is, you need to have an immigration pathway. Dapat makompleto mo yung papel para ma-submit po sa government. So, kung ang program mo is, for example, is AIP at wala kang employer, then useless po makap. You don't have an application. Or let's vice versa naman po makap. You have uh, all the requirements but you don't have an employer. Wala kang employer po makap. Pero, pero kompleto ka na. Ang tanong, pwede ka ba mag-submit? The answer is no. Hindi ka pwede mag-submit po makap. The reason why is incomplete po yung documents. So, to end this video po mga kap, I want you to remember this. When you are submitting your application to Canada, make sure this is complete. And of course po mga kap, lahat ng information na kailangan nilang malaman ay naka-attached na po doon. So, going back to the question, paano kung wala kang work experience? May maa-attach ka bang certificate of employment? Kung wala kang experience, makaka-attach ka ba ng pay stub? Because if hindi, wala ka rin application. Incomplete yung inyong application. So I hope po mga kap, naintindihan nyo ang inyong uh, topic today. And hopefully, comment it below. Give us feedback. And of course po mga kap, I want you to click the like and share these videos and subscribe to our channel. This is one way of helping other caps or kapatid natin nangangarap na pumunta dito sa Canada. So, one way to help them is to share this video. It's me again po mga Kap Kap Joey. Maraming maraming salamat for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.